for Buzzy. I wanted to give you a preview of the next iteration of our very cool demo of taking a Figma file and turning it into a working app. No code required. Uh, we've got this plugin that we're about to release. We want you to get on the wait list. Um, but I'm going to show you how it works. Super, super simple to be able to create apps. You can update it on the fly. You can iterate in your designs, update the live application. Uh, we can use real content, access from database, REST APIs, Google Sheets, etc. Um, you can capture data in the app so they're actually living, breathing apps. And it's coming soon. So I'll give you the link at the end. Let's have a look at it in, uh, it, as an example. So this is a sample site. It's a recipe app. Um, it's built with a whole set of um, components and assets in Figma as you normally would. You can tie them together. You can build things like reviews and content and so on. This obviously works as, a, as your standard Figma demo. You can go through this, but that's a smoke and mirrors prototype. What about if you want to convert this into a real live app? It's dead easy. Let's go back to, um, let's go back to our application. Uh, we're going to run the Buzzy plugin. This will single sign into the Buzzy platform using your Figma um, login, making it super, super simple. All I'm going to do is give this a name so we know that this is a new application. We'll call this 525, um, which is a timestamp. And I'm going to click Convert to Buzzy app. That's it. You can mark things up in the component. You can add extra functionality. But in its simplest form, this is it. What's happening behind the scenes is the Buzzy plugins looking at all the components and telling Buzzy how to create the application, which are data fields, which are form fields, uh, which are feedback fields, etc. We'll do things like handle the security, the login, the users, all that sort of stuff. Now you can get to this application either in a browser or as a native app, a true native app. We use React Native at the back end and we create that application on the fly. Let's have a quick look at it in the browser. Here it is. Let's wait a while. So it's actually generating it. Now you'll see that's the design that we just had in Figma. So we could go and change things in that design. Um, if we have a look at the content, this is actual content that's come out of a database or in a REST API and been populated into the backend database that's driving this. Now we can do things like we can add reviews. We can go, wow, you know, this is awesome. So it's about capturing data. So when we submit that review, there it is. That's actually a working application. That's it. No development required, straight from Figma to the app. Get on the wait list now. We will be stoked to have you using the platform. Thanks for watching.